Yes, I am back. I have not killed myself. Yep, congratulations to me. A lot of people have been DMing me. A lot of strangers, to be honest. Some female, some male, doesn't matter. They've sent all. Oh, such a good man, such a good, good human being. Rest in peace, let your soul be at salvation. <laughs> and I said, oh, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm in purgatory now, and yeah, I'm moving up to heaven. Hopefully I'll see you there. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy what people think has going on with me for the last one day have not been uploading. Well, yeah, I'm happy to say that I'm alive. I wouldn't say well because I would just lie to you, but yeah, I am alive, breathing, and functioning to an extent, of course. But anyway, a lot of things have been happening. I've met up with um, some ghosts from the past, and this ghost is a girl, and I'm not saying more. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I just... In the time I was gone from this world... Oh shit. <laughs> in the time that I was gone from this world, from the YouTube world and social media world, I went to the cinema. Yes, with this specific ghost from the past. Yeah, I had a good time. Of course, I didn't choose the movie. And to be honest, when you go to the cinema these days, you don't expect a good movie now, do you? I mean, I, I, I'm, I do not read your head, but at least with me, well, when I go to the cinema, I expect a very shit movie, but a good company most of the time. So, this ghost from the past, I'm not saying her name, decided to watch a movie with me. She DM'd me and I said, okay, no problem. I'm gonna escape from my cabin and I'm gonna plunge into civilization once again. So, for better or for worse, of course. And we decided, she decided to watch the new movie. Free Guy, with Ryan Reynolds, Jacksepticeye, Pokimane, and other streamers and YouTubers. Yay. So I said to myself, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, what should I expect? A good fun experience, slapstick comedy, you know, that kind of shit. And to be honest, I fucking call it. This movie is nothing more than a good time, fun experiencing, and of course... The most lovable guy of all time, Ryan Reynolds. If this guy does a fucking shit movie, nobody, I mean, nobody will care because it's Ryan Reynolds for God fucking sakes. It's Ryan Reynolds and you cannot talk shit about Ryan Reynolds. The guy is fucking incredible. He has this charm. I'm not gay. Um, no, some questions will come. I'm not gay. I'm absolutely fucking straight as an arrow. But anyway, not judging people who are gay. This guy has a fucking charms. Of Adonis, man. Whatever he is in, Deadpool, whatever, man. He's just incredible. And he just brings in the, the the good in the movie. Free Guy would have been an absolute abomination without Ron Reynolds, to be honest. Because he makes the movie. Yes, there's some cool characters, of course. Channing Tatum makes an appearance. Jacksepticeye, of course, one of the best YouTubers around. I hope he sees this video and sees how much I appreciate him as a human being. Because he's incredible. Anyway, the movie is pretty much what I expected. A two-hour runtime, some romantic scenes, some very action, ac action y scenes, and yeah, just a standard movie to be honest. I don't know what's the rave about it. People saying it's fucking incredible, extraordinary. More is critical. The, the Jesus Christ Himself gave this movie eighty-five moisture uh, on the moist meter. How the fuck? Oh my god, man. He gave it 85%. This movie doesn't deserve this much, okay? This movie doesn't deserve that much. I mean, in my opinion, of course. Of course. In my opinion. Okay? Now, we made this official. Everybody has an opinion. That's my opinion. This movie isn't something special. The, I'm gonna see the positives. Ryan Reynolds. Of course. It's, it's easy to follow plot. Fun characters, most of them. And yeah, that's it. But for the most part, it's a pretty generic ass movie. Look, the storyline focuses on Guy. That's his, literally his name, Guy. He is an, he is, he's living in a game world. He's an NPC. 
he play a, he's a, a game NPC, and yeah, in a GTA like game, very famous that people it's called Free World I believe yeah, and it's a very famous game that many people played many many streamers I guess played as well, but yeah. And then he decides, he slowly sees this woman has glass, some kind of glasses, and then he wants to communicate with her. Because she's fucking smoking hot, I'm not gonna lie, but... Uh, he tries to communicate with her and, you know, and then he finds out the glasses, and then with these glasses, he sees the game world, he sees everything. He sees the medikits, he sees the objective, he sees everything, like an open world map. And yeah, I wouldn't say this movie is extraordinary, because it isn't, but... You never get confused, you never get um, headaches with this movie. It's not Fast and Furious level kind of, you know, rid rid ridiculous shit. But oh my god, the last f for, uh, 30 minutes of the movie were absolutely horrible. <laughs> horrible. I mean, it ripped off every single Fast and Furious movie with the ridiculousness of the last 30 minutes. The last half an hour of this movie was absolutely insane in a bad way. It will it just followed a simple, you know, path. It followed a simple plot with a simple story and simple characters that, that are likable. But oh my god, all the simpleness just went out of the fucking roof with this end with this ending. Oh my god, so much shit is just fucking bombarded for you. But anyway, look. I watch this movie in a cinema, okay? And yeah, it's tricky when you watch things in the cinema because it does affect your um, experiences with the movie with the movie if the cinema is pretty shitty. And cinemas are in Bulgaria are pretty shitty, to be honest. I would have enjoyed this movie watching it on my 65-inch TV than in a fucking 100-inch projector in the fucking cinema with, like... So, look... I'm gonna tell you the most interesting part of the journey to this movie. I went there with not one, not two, not three, but four girls. Oh my god, with four girls, man. And it was like cringing all the time. And yeah, we've all been there. We've all done that. Let's be honest. But I just concentrate on, oh, hmm, if they look at me, I need to look more masculine. I need to more. I need my masculinity upped. <laughs> but yeah, it was unnecessary to be honest. They didn't care about me, nor did I care about them. And yeah, we just watched the movie. But to be honest, I wouldn't think any different if, even if I watched it on my television at home alone. With my sadness. <laughs> but yeah, to be honest, pretty standard movie. Nothing out of the, nothing out of the box, nothing special. Positives, Ryan Reynolds, as I said, easy to follow plot, some fun characters, and yeah, don't even think that logic uh, is is a big, big thing in this movie, because it isn't. Literally, one of the last scenes of the movie, one of the main characters in the real world, not the game world, one of the game creators, finally re realizes that he loves this girl, and he sends her this message that, oh, I created this woman in this game because of you, out of inspiration and love for you. And for me, that's the perfect woman. And of course, I'm not gonna get all teary-eyed because that's fucking cringe. It's cringe. But anyway, and then she realized she loves him. She loves him as well, and it's so cheesy and so stupid. And that almost ruined fuck the fucking movie for me. That scene was so bad. Anyway, they fucking saw each other near the road, and their car cars coming in fucking fast. And they just standing in the middle of the road, and then the cars just disappeared out of nowhere. Out of fucking nowhere, just the cars disappear, waited them to kiss out, and then whoosh, we're back at it, boys. Oh, yeah, I forgot to pick up my son from school. Oh, yeah, I forgot to go to job. Mm, yeah, but I guess it's worth it to see these two absolute fucking strangers kissing in the middle of the road. Well, <clears throat> that's the movie for you guys. Don't look logically in this movie, and you will enjoy it, as I did. It was a fun time, so my final rating, <clears throat> excuse me is a 7 out of 10. It's not an 85% on a moist meter, in my opinion. It's not a 9, it's not a fucking 10, certainly. 
But it, what it is, it's a fun experience that uh, if you don't look logically to it, you will enjoy it far more than if you think it's a fucking marvelous piece of work. Academy Award rating movie. No, it's not. Not even close. It's a fun time, and if you have absolutely nothing to do, Free Guy has got you covered. So, hope you enjoyed the movie review, and I'm back to uploading, baby. I am back to uploading. I'm not wasting any time. I'm gonna upload, I think, today's Metro Last Light. Yeah. I got a lot of games coming to my channel, and I think it's about time to, to fucking finish them already. <laughs> to, uh, uh, you know, decrease the pile. So it could be easier for me. And I look, I promise you, I will never run out of content. I will never. I have a lot of shit to talk about to show you. I, I have a system, okay? Everything's planned out, mapped out for you guys. And your job to see this future with me, like and subscribe, enjoy my videos. And yeah, if you hate me or something, post in the comments. I'll accept it no matter what you type. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed. I love you all. I'll see you very soon.